Player Niners. It's Coach Katie. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you are following along in the lessons. And I hope by now you have gotten the word that we are starting to meet with all the kids online to just check in, just say hi, but also to have an opportunity to see what your golf swings look like. Some of you have backyards. We've been going in the backyard. Some of you have just you're in your apartment and we can make that work too. So don't feel like you need to be on grass in order to participate in these lessons because they've been really fun and they've been really fun just to see all of your faces and to spend some time with you guys and to hear your laughs. And uh, at this point, it, it was just so much fun to get to see a lot of you. Um, Coach Strick did it, I did it, Coach Nicole did it from the first tee of Essex County. But I know all of your coaches, uh, regardless of what uh, first tee you participate with, are maybe starting to check in with you in person and it's really fun to start seeing everybody. And we're doing workouts as well, so I hope you're joining us for some of the workouts. Those have been fun too. Anyways, the theme for this week is one that fits in really well with golf and it's all about routines and um, how do routines work in golf? Well, the number one way that a routine works in golf is the way that we set up to the golf ball. So I wanna check in with you and let's go take a look. Um, I wanna help you develop a routine. Okay, quarantine. Get it, quarantine. So by now you're in player nine and in player nine, you know all the things like make an A, make a Y, bow to the king, tilt, have the ball a little bit in front, okay? You know all those things already because you're a seasoned first tee kid. At the first tee of Essex County, which is out in Newark, where Coach Nicole and Coach Strick and I are, we do something where we teach seven steps, seven steps that we make all the player nine kids memorize, okay? And I wanna share them with all of you so that you can be a part of them too. So, before you're allowed to hit, and this has everything to do with the routine, we want you to make sure that you're perfectly positioned and perfectly ready. Seven steps. Here we go. Number one, you're going to hold the club with only your left hand behind you, like this, okay? Hold the club behind you. Your feet will start right in the middle of the ball, okay? That's where you're going to start. Step one, hold the club behind you. Step two, add your other hand. Step three, you're going to put your club head down behind the ball. And you'll take with that, you're gonna take a little step forward. This is for you to kind of get your feeling, what feels good in terms of how close or far away are you from the ball, okay? So step one, step two, Step three, step four is literally a step, a tiny step forward. Step five is a big step, this way. Step six is fun, get it. And step seven, do a good twirl because you like it, okay? Seven steps, let's see them again. And this is something that doesn't need to take you a long time once you actually learn how to do it, okay? But here we go. Step one, step two, step three, step four is literally a step, step five is literally a step, step six, swing, step seven, twirl. Now don't knock yourself out when you twirl. We've actually seen some of the kids uh, hit themselves sometimes when they work on the twirl, but the twirl is important because it looks cool and it's kind of fun. So there it is. Those are your seven steps. Learn them, memorize them, get really good at it, figure out a cool twirl at the end that you're really happy about. But by player nine, let's get there, okay? We got this. <laughs> 